and then tell us why didn't you receive credit uh, for your contribution to one of the greatest songs of all time, Layla? Well, was, I'm not sure, but if you ever find out, <laughs> <laughs> you can I should tell you. Can somebody yeah. cut a check for me? <laughs> I had written a song with the drummer Jim Gordon um, called Time, Don't Let the World Get in Our Way. And it was a song that Jim had come over with a three or four chord progression, and he wasn't, a, he was a great drummer, he wasn't a great piano player. And so I sat down at the piano at my house and started playing, and then I started writing lyrics and wrote a bridge and a melody, and we uh, were go on our way to England to record uh, Eric, that sing with Eric Clapton on his first solo album in the middle of the Delaney Body Tour. And we played the song for Eric, and he seemed to like it, but he didn't record it. So we, I left a demo on the piano and hoped that he would maybe consider it after we left, and nothing happened. And a year later, I was in the studio having photographs done following releasing my first album, and I hear the music come over the PA at a and And I knew that it was my music, and I just didn't know where it was coming from. And, and then I, I figured it out, as they said, you know, that was Eric Clapton, Derek and the Donos, and Layla. So I went to the record store to see if I had any credit on it, and sure enough, I didn't, so. Well, why didn't you say anything? I did, I oh, said, did. no, I called his manager, I talked to the a and I talked to my producer, David Anderley, I talked to anybody that would listen, because the studio, the day that I played the song for Eric, the studio was full of musicians. Bobby Whitlock, Delaney Bonney, Carl Radel, everybody that was working in the band, Bobby Keys, Jim Moore, and everybody uh, that were uh, on the record were there when I played it, and they've all backed it up for me a million times. But um, when I tried to get in touch with Eric about it, I couldn't reach Eric. and. I was sent to his manager, Robert Stigwood, who was pretty much, a, was, as long as I knew him until he passed last year, just pretty much an asshole. So um, he said, what are you going to do? He said, yeah, are you going to go up and get Stiggy? He said, you're just a girl. What are you going to do? And that's really the only time that I really can think of that I've really felt like uh, that there was a, a male power play that really, that I could not get around. Mm -hmm.